Hi, Roger Altman here, and this is going to be what I'm going to call a vlog. Uh, one of the nice things about being retired is you can take vacations pretty much whenever you want, and we just got back from a little stint down in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. And while I was there, I observed some things that uh, you probably wouldn't see in this country. And here in the next few minutes, I'm going to uh, cover some of those and see what you think. Also a little bit about a trip that I did to the Czech Republic over in Europe for a project and I'll go over that a little bit and how I fared with that. Uh, maybe you notice a little bit of a difference in appearance here. It's what they call No Shave November and this is day 19 of it. Uh, we'll see what it's like by the end of the month. Uh, probably won't keep it because I'll either look like Papa Smurf or Santa and I don't really want either one of those uh, tags put on me. But uh, here in a couple minutes we'll go over what I found in Mexico and some things that uh, you might find surprising. And then I'll cover a little bit about what I did in the Czech Republic and how things worked out over there, especially with the language barrier. At least in Mexico I can speak some Spanish and got along just fine. In the Czech Republic, uh, when I did go over there I only had a week's notice and that's not enough time to learn another language, especially something as complex as Czech. Uh, I did learn that P.O. means beer and Proceed means please, so that got me through a good part of it. So one of the first things I see is I'm taking a walk one day as I'm kind of looking up like I usually do and uh, kind of look at this pole. It looked a little strange. At first I thought that was uh, electrical non-metallic tubing, you know, like Smurf tube as we used to call it around here. But it turns out uh, that's actually drain tile with a boot over the top with 13.8 uh, going down to it. You got two phases in one and one in the other. A little bit different. Not something you uh, see too often in the United States. Had to stop and take a video of it. Of course, if a ballast is on the outside of the fixture, it's a lot easier to change. And these are new meaning of pendant lights. And how do you bend your conduit offsets? Here I was walking along. This is on 5th Avenue in, uh, in Playa del Carmen, right across from a jewelry store. This is live. This is wide open 13.8 disconnect boots. No cover on this whatsoever. People just walk by. And here's another one. This is down by where you catch the ferry to go over to Cozumel. Of course, how do you uh, connect your neutrals and grounds when you're putting in a meter stack or multiple service? Here, what they do here is uh, there's copper bars mounted inside an enclosure. All the neutrals go to this copper bar or copper bars, and then the uh, bar at the bottom is your grounds. Then the uh, rest of the uh, metering distribution is all individual units. Of course, this is locked. Now this is in a pretty upscale area here too. It was raining. I couldn't get any closer to it without getting my camera wet. But uh, see these all over the place down there. Not unusual at all there. And of course this is uh, on a main thoroughfare. And yes those two open sockets are hot. Welcome to Prague in the Czech Republic. Did this trip a few years ago. The, of course it was raining that day. I didn't get to see near as much as I wanted to. The architecture in Prague, it just blows your mind. I can't imagine how they would have built any of this stuff back in the day when it was built. It's just marvelous to see. Like I said, it was raining, foggy, but I only had one day to spend it. And of course you have Fridays there. Got to have a little bit of the U.S., I guess. The project he had, I had was to uh, rewire a panel to make it work with a fixture that was there at lunchtime mystery food and the coffee there is just nasty but the the project was to make this panel work with this fixture that they had on site that originally came from the united states uh finally managed to reverse engineer and get my way through it and i guess this means don't touch had to go outside and uh, actually look at part of the fixture to see how this thing was supposed to make the frames. This big uh, blue thing you see is the actual machine. And of course time for some more mystery food and lunch. 
The inside of the plant is absolutely immaculate. They make uh, different types of farm equipment there. And once we managed to get through the, everything, despite the language barrier, and here's the guys I work with, we had to converse in Spanish. That's the only two languages that we each knew. So, quite the adventure. Cheers. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Uh, they do do things different in other countries, uh, not just Mexico and the Czech Republic, but I've also been to Germany, I've been to Canada, and several other places. Uh, to observe some things and done some work over there. Um, if you're an electrician or an engineer and you're looking for a, a good niche to get into, to stay constantly employed, specialize in a particular field, become very good in it, and there's a very good possibility you'll be continuously employed and maybe get to do some of the traveling I got to do over my career. We we'll hope to see you in the next video and please hit the uh, like button and hit the bell and subscribe and we'll see you again later.